Good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. So good morning. It is currently 8, 11 a.m. over here in sunny Florida. I am heading out to the estate sale where we got all of those gorgeous pieces of jewelry yesterday. Wait till you see this house. Uh, I knew when I saw the location of where this estate sale was, I knew I wanted to go. It is a very high class, very wealthy part of Orlando. And yeah, this house is amazing. The jewelry collection that this homeowner had is amazing. Okay, so as mentioned, the area that we're going to is a super nice area, very expensive, exclusive. So hopefully they still have some items left. Um, we have about 20 minutes before the show starts or the state sale starts. I do have my trusty assistant with me today. That is Mr. Treasure Jewels. If you know, you know, uh, he is taking me driving me down here so that way we can get all this stuff and hopefully there's some good pieces left. I'll try, I don't know if I can record in the house. I'll do a little shot so that way you can see what this house looks like. And if I can, sorry for the shaky camera. Okay, so we are here and we are walking up. There's already a huge line. If you can tell by the houses, I'll close up on my face around here but I'm gonna switch around so you can see some of the houses and this right here is where the estate sale is so here's part of the garage we're going to walk around the front. Very pretty day. And here is the house. We already have a huge line. So, beautiful house. All right, so we are on the way back home. I did not get to record in the sale because there was way too many people today. Uh, tons of people and everybody was in the jewelry room going crazy. Uh, it was actually like standing room only, people butting in. Didn't have that problem yesterday. So that's interesting. Um, it's the first time that I've had to deal with that. But we did get some amazing, amazing pieces. I will do a haul video um but check out this was i saw this yesterday when we were there super cute love it it actually matches um a piece of fenton glass that i found at a yard sale a couple weeks ago so we're going to put those two together and see how they look Hey everyone, so here is the best part. We are going to do the haul video or the little haul for all of the items that were picked up. Um, there are some amazing pieces here and let's just dive right into it because I know everybody is excited to see. So we'll just start with this. This one was my was my favorite. Um, I don't know what it is about like the white milk glass, but I really, really, I love it. So uh, just to let everybody know that I am going to be putting prices on the screen. All of these items are for sale. Um, they will be higher, uh, higher prices due to the fact that um, in my opinion, they are better quality and I did pay up for these items. So 
With that being said, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. But this one right here, this is a bracelet. It is not marked, um, but it does have a silver tone back. Has the fold over clasp right here. So beautiful milk glass. You do have uh, some rhinestones. They kind of look like under the lights like they have a little bit of a green tint to them. I'm not sure. I actually don't have my measuring tape over here, so I probably need to pause and go get that. So hold on one. Okay, we're back. So here is the bracelet. It looks like it is seven inches. Absolutely stunning. All the rhinestones are there. So that'll be number one. We'll go ahead and grab this. All right, we're going to uh, talk about this one real quick. So here is the back. You do have the open back navettes. You have the AB rhinestones. There are kind of looks like three different color pinks here. So you get like the really light, a medium, and a dark. This is stunning, absolutely beautiful. There's the back. There is no maker on this one that I could find. And that's about, it's about three inches. So it's a nice size, nice substantial little brooch there. Some of these might need a little cleaning, um, but for the most part, they are pretty good. So this one right here, it says made in Austria, right there. So here's this one, you got uh, green navets, purple, you do have some blue rhinestones. Actually, it looks like this one is missing two of the rhinestones right there. Oh, no. Two up here as well. But nonetheless, it is very pretty. Love the colors of this one. And this one is almost just shy of two. Okay, this one right here is a special one. So this one is by Crements. It is marked Crements right there on the pen. It's super, super tiny. But you do have, I'm not sure if these are real or if they are faux pearls. I do not know, but beautiful gold tone. And it does have the uh, dome shape to it, so it's a little, a little uh, dome. And this one's about an inch and a half. And this one's very nice, good condition. And we have this one right here. I think, I don't think this one is marked. Now, I don't see any markings on this one, but you do have these uh, blue cabochons right here. They kind of feel like glass. So it looks like one rhinestone is missing right there. Again, it is not marked. It is a really pretty piece. And this one, let's see, this one is about one and a half again. This one right here, this one is an Avon 35 year, 2006. So I'm assuming that this was an, like an anniversary pin. Yeah, really pretty. Uh, like champagne beige and red rhinestones. 
Uh, there is one red rhinestone missing right there, but it does not take away from the fact that this thing is really pretty. The back looks great on it. So this one's about three, 30 by three. So it's a, it's a good size, very pretty. Got this cute little stick pin. They did have, um, they did have some stick pins. I really didn't see anything that uh, called to me except for this one. I think it's just the matte finish on this rose. Beautiful deep red color. I absolutely love it. I don't see any markings on it. Actually, it didn't. I never did take the uh, the bottom off of it. Okay, well, um, can't get the bottom off right now, so I will try in a little bit, and we'll see if we can get that off, but beautiful. I love that one. Alright, so this guy, this one is pretty much the going to be the star of the show today. Uh, I had no idea that this was a special brooch but this is definitely a bolo uh, for anyone out there if you happen to see this starfish brooch and there are different color variations out there it is by Kenneth J. Lane um, over here it says NR I believe this was a collaboration with Avon uh, from what my from what I have read, this one is um, a little bit more on the de more desired look. Definitely, if you ever see these, pick them up. This one is stunning. It's beautiful, and it definitely calls out. This right here is glass. These are all uh, acrylic little cabochons, you got faux pearls, but definitely a stunner. I love that one. All right, here's another one. This one, um, I did try to look up. I couldn't find anything on it or anything that looked like it. So I'm still re researching this one. I think I think these are all acrylic cabochons. It does need a, a little bit of a cleaning. This one has uh, some wear to it. But you do have the open backs on some of these back here. There's the back. This is what it looks like. So I definitely picked it up. Most of the time, if brooches have open backs like this, I will pick them up. I have heard uh, while, you know, doing jewelry and listening to other sellers and what they talk about that anything that has these open backs right here basically means a higher quality, better design, basically. So anytime I see these, I will pick them up. So this one is beautiful. Nice, beautiful brown colors on that one. We have this one, faux pearls with rhinestones. This one is another KJL, Kenneth J. Lane for Avon collaboration. It is also a necklace enhancer pendant. So this does open. This one is in really good shape. No wear on it at all. Beautiful piece. Check this one out. This one is stunning. These, I can't, I believe they're glass. I, I'll have to test it with the uh, Persidium but I believe they're all glass. It is not signed. Here's the back. So silver tone. There's the construction. 
you do have uh, layers here. I believe they say tiered for that. All the rhinestones are there. Beautiful blue color right there in the center. This one um, does have a pendant or a pin. There's a little bit of uh, wear on the back of this one. It's all acrylic. I picked it up because it's um, it was different than the rest. It, it has this green, you know, green, yellow, lemon, lime uh, vibe going on. So definitely picked that one up. It is not signed, but still very pretty nonetheless. Okay. And here is another beautiful piece. So this one has these uh, faux pearl that have texture to kind of make them look like they're they're like actual pearls because they you know have different, but they're not they're faux. This one is by Weiss. It is marked right there. Love the purple, of course. Anything purple, you know, I will already pick it up just because it's purple. So this one, another really pretty piece. So I had uh, two different estate sales, so I'm trying to keep uh, the other ones separated so that way I know where who came from where. This one right here, um, I'm, I'm showing it in the haul video, but this one has already uh, been claimed, so this one is not available, but again, you do have the open backs. And you have the really pretty rhinestones here, pink, blue. And then these are all acrylic or lucite from what my research. I did find one of these, but in a purple color. And it said that these cabochons were lucite. Doesn't mean that that's correct, because you can't always believe everything you see on the internet, but anyways, that one is beautiful. Love the pink color on that one. Okay, and the last little, let's see, yeah, this is from the first haul, so the first way, the first day we went was all of those items. So this one is sterling silver. It is Mark 925 on the inside. I did test it. It is sterling. These are all glass. I did test them. There are some marcasites in there as well. So he's a cute little purple sterling silver butterfly. No other markings other than 925, but again, the purple, I'm just going to go for it. He's really cute. All right, I did pick up one ring. So this one is marked. It has a D and then sterling on the inside. So I know I've seen that, uh, that D maker's mark before. It is a, an adjustable band, so it can be sized to whatever you need it to be. I believe right now I have it, I believe right now I have it at a six or six and a half. But this is, uh, I'm not sure what the, what the stone is on it. It does have that mirror reflection. So I believe it's one of those, uh, like hematite or, um, one of those stones, but nonetheless, absolutely stunning ring. Here are a pair of West Germany. They are marked W Germany on the backs. This particular um, estate sale had a lot of earrings. However, um, they were marked, in my opinion, pretty high, um, but I did not want to walk away without picking these up because I know 
that these are highly desired right now. So I felt like the higher price was worth it to uh, pick these up. I really wanted to take the whole tray. They had an entire tray. There was probably 20 pairs of earring, or earrings. Most of them were clips and I wanted all of them, but I did grab these. Okay, and let's see, I got these bracelets over here. All right, so we grabbed, we grabbed these bracelets. Now these are all, these are all Avon. I just like the, these cabochons, so I don't think, it might be glass, but they have that, that glow or that cat's eye look to them. So they are silver tone. They do have the extra extender, so this, these pieces right here come off and so does this one over here. So depending on what length you need, Let's see, they could either be, what would that be? Maybe, maybe a seven to an eight. So a seven to an eight. And then this one would be a seven or an eight and a half possibly. But this one, very pretty. You do have the green with the rhinestones. Looks like all the rhinestones are there and that one, all of the little cabochons are here on this one. These are marked Avon on the back right here and right there. So that was the uh, haul for, well, that was the first estate sale. Um, then we happened to be driving home and down the street was another estate sale and I picked these up. So this one right here is marked Coro on the back, right there. Really for, uh, pretty flower bouquet. You do have pink and green enamel with rhinestones. And then also this one, which is also Coro. You have a, that kind of feels like acrylic, it doesn't feel cold to me at all but just a really pretty simple blue pin and then this I absolutely love magnifying glasses so I saw this one and I had to I had to grab it it is marked I believe it's Metsky I'll put it on the screen I did a Google search. I couldn't find like this particular um, piece anywhere, but it does have a beach scene. So it has a bunch of shells around it. And I believe this is pewter, but, and it does magnify. Probably needs to uh, probably need to clean the glass because it's got some smudges on it. But all right, so that was day one. Now on to day two. Day two. I wish I would have picked up more of the earrings. So I did grab these, and the other ones I'll show you. They had them in a set. So these are Avon. It does say SP, so I'm not sure maybe if that's like a collaboration with somebody. But these are really pretty. They're acrylic. Like that. Okay. And what are these? Okay. So they had these also mixed in with this set. That And I honestly, I don't think that it all goes together but they had, they had them all together. So they had these earrings right here, which are clip earrings. They do not have any makers on them. There's the back. 
very pretty. And they had it together with this set right here. So here is the bracelet. There's no markings on this at all, but I just thought it was stunning. Maybe it was just the way they had it displayed, I don't know. And then they had it with this necklace. So I don't think that these necessarily go with this because it's all different colors, but these two definitely go together even though you got different shapes of stones going on here, but nonetheless, I thought these were beautiful. You do have the open backs on the bracelet right here. And this one does not have open backs. But either way, I love them. I think they're gorgeous. Okay, I did pick up this again with the purple. You know, if it's purple, I'm gonna grab it. So here is a, I'm trying to figure out how this goes. It is marked Avon. So I kind of figured that it was supposed to go like this and then the, the grapes kind of hang that way, but honestly, it kind of just doesn't, you would think that you wouldn't be able to put it on because the, the back, I'm not sure, I don't know. So I had, I just had it sitting like this, or I tipped it upside down, and I had it just sitting like that. So these are all acrylic, they're not glass but I just love the purple color. It caught my eye when I was looking at the uh, table. Okay, so here are, here's the last pair of uh, earrings that I, that I picked up. There's no maker on these. And the reason why I picked these up was because I saw the matching bracelet. Now, I am super bummed because when I got in the car, I noticed that the bracelet is broken. There is no hook here to hook the bracelet on. So I kind of shed a couple of tears in the car on the way home. The earrings are perfect, they work. I'm still glad that I got the set. I don't know if this can be fixed. I may try to see if I can do something about that, but honestly, I don't think that anything can be done with it. We might just have to uh, use this in some kind of crafting project. I'm not sure, but the earrings are good, and these are, it's all glass. All of these are glass. And it's a very pretty, like, deep blue color like a gray blue. So that's that one. And then here is an amazing find. So this one is a matte gold tone. And this one is by Crown Trafari. There is the mark right there. You do have these cute little flowers. This one is, oh, I haven't just realized I haven't been doing measurements on anything. This one is about a seven and a quarter, looks like. Very pretty. Looks like it's in really good condition. So that was a great pickup. And then this one I did show. It's not marked. I was kind of hoping that it would be marked one of the nicer copper brands, but it's not marked. It's okay. I picked it up because I do love copper pieces. I, I don't know why, but for some reason lately, I am on a copper kick. So, 
pick this one up. It's in really good condition. I don't see any wear to it at all. Here is the chain. So that was a good little pickup right there. And then there's this one. This one is by BSK. And it is not sure if it's just uh, lucite or acrylic, but you have these little black leaf designs. And here is the clasp on it. Looks like it's in good shape. I don't see really anything wrong with it. Might need a little cleaning on the back, but other than that, it looks pretty good. And the last is this necklace, which again is a Crown Trafari. This one still has the original tag. There's the hang tag. So it's a two strand and the little pendant is marked as well right there. So it's a double strand with this little pendant right here, silver tone. Still has the tag on it. And that is, that's it for the haul. Uh, these two estate sales, particularly the one that you guys see in the little vlog. Um, that I'm very, very happy that I was able to get down there and score all of these items. Um, it was amazing. I really appreciate everyone who uh, put on the estate sale. They did a wonderful job trying to keep everything organized. It was very chaotic. So I have a lot of appreciation for people who do estate sales because that was uh, intense. So anyways, I hope you all enjoy the little vlog. Let me know if you like these vlog type videos. I'll start doing uh, more of them. Uh, just leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And if you are interested in any of these pieces, go ahead and shoot me an email and let me know and we can uh, get some of these items sent out to you. I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday weekend and I will see you in the next video. Bye.